Chick with Marlin Steel, and today I will be showing you how to assemble our brand new IV stand. When you first receive your box, you will open it like so. There will be a number of boxes inside, including this box with the long stem which holds the two poles that we'll put on the base. Now that we have taken out the poles, the very large box consists of the base. The smaller rectangular box consists of the basket and the handle. The smaller square box consists of the hardware and the manual. For clarification, the big green box holds the base, which has the wheels. The blue rectangular box has the basket and the handle. The small red box has the hardware and the manual. Please refer to this image when opening the boxes. Here I am opening the box. This is what the box will look like when you receive the item. I'm making sure that I'm being very cautious with the X-Acto knife that I'm using. There are four other boxes within the big box just so that they can consolidate shipping. Now I am opening the box that contains the top stand and the bottom pole. So I'm being very careful with the X-Acto knife again, just cutting around the edges where the tape is, just making sure I don't break the box. I am now taking out the top pole, which will hold IV bags, and now I'm getting into the bottom pole, which is a thicker pole of the two. Now I'm taking out the smaller box within, and I'm just cutting it open again with the X-Acto knife, cutting around the tape to make sure it's an easy open. Now inside is going to have all of our materials, such as the clamps, the bolts, the screws, etc. I will be going over each of the kits and their supplies and what they are used for. I will correlate them to the numbers within the manual. Also, we give you a manual, so if you would like to read along when I'm putting together the IV stand, you may. The next box that I will be opening up is the bigger of the two smaller boxes. This box contains the basket that will attach to the IV stand, as well as the handlebar that will attach to the IV stand. Now I am opening up the biggest box, which contains the base of the entire IV stand. This base comes with wheels so that the IV stand will be mobile. This is what the wheels will look like. Now I will be correlating each item to their number, just in case anybody would like to refer to the number versus the part itself. I also have attached images that correlate the number to the descriptive item. Item number one is the bottom IV pole. It is two inches in diameter as well as the base of the stand. Item number two is the top IV pole and that is one inch in diameter. This is the piece that holds the IV bags. Item number three is our IV pole assembly hardware. This kit includes three 1024 by 0.375 inch socket head screws and a five 32 inch hex wrench. This is also called an Allen wrench, which is how I refer to it. Item number four is the roll stand base. Number five is the roll stand base assembly hardware consisting of a 3 8 inch 16 by 1 inch hex head screw, lock washer, flat washer. Number six is our roll stand base assembly tool which is a 9 16 inch flat wrench. Number seven is our utility basket. Number eight is our utility basket mounting hardware, which consists of four aluminum clamp halves. Number nine is our utility basket mounting hardware, which consists of four 1032 by 2.75 inch socket head screws, four flat washers, and four split block washers. Our last item, number 10, is the handle. It includes two Phillips screws, but not a Phillips head screwdriver, so you will need to have one on hand. When securing the bottom pole, you want to make sure that you have support on the neck so that we have a nice firm attachment. 
I'm using just a cardboard box to help support the neck of the pole itself so that I can grasp lower to make sure that there is a tight seal between the two of the base and the base of the pole. You want to make sure that the split washer is in between the bolt itself and the flat washer for a nice tight seal. Now we are going to secure the screw into the bottom of the base as well as attach the pole. And this is when you want to make sure that you're holding evenly in line with the screw and you can just use your hand to tighten that in. Now when you get to the point of tension, this is when you are going to use your 9 16 wrench. And make sure you are really pushing the pole inwards towards the bottom so that we do not have any missed space. Give it a nice good shake, a tug, and you can feel that it is secure. Now we've finished assembling the bottom half of the stand. Please stay tuned for when we assemble the top part and attach the basket, the handle, and where the IV bags will hang. Next, we will be attaching the basket to the bottom of the IV stand. See how there are two holes on the top and two holes on the bottom? We will be taking our aluminum clamps and attaching them to the top in the bottom of the basket so we can easily slide them onto the stand. Two sets of aluminum clamps will be provided to you. 10 32 by 2.75 inch socket head screws that will go into these holes attaching the aluminum clamps to the basket. We will be using item number nine from our parts reference which consists of our four socket head screws, our four flat washers, and our four split lock washers. As well as an Allen wrench, like so. Hug them together so that they are all aligned. Next, you wanna take your 1032 by 2.75 inch socket head screws, place them through the designated spot. And what I like to do as a little trick, I like to take my index finger and my pinky finger to hold the screws in place. And I like to take my thumb and press down on the second aluminum clamp to make sure it's still held together. Then you're going to wanna to take one flat washer, place it on one screw. Take your other flat washer, place it on the other screw. Take one split washer, place it on top of that flat washer, and take your other split washer and place it on the other flat washer. So you're going to have a clamp that looks like this. All ready to be secure in to the basket. Now that we have one of the aluminum clamps assembled, you wanna make sure you only tighten the screws one or two rotations so that the aluminum clamp can move for when we attach it onto the base of the pole. Now, I'm flipping it over so that we can attach the second aluminum clamp. And as you can see, I've already attached one flat washer and one split washer. one two two rotations so that they are eligible to move we will be taking the basket and placing it onto the bottom of the pole to attach to the stand please stay tuned for part two so now that we have our bottom pole we are going to take our basket and we are going to slowly move the aluminum clamps 
and we are going to slide the basket to where we would like it to fall onto the pole. And we are now going to secure them in place. Make sure you hold the basket so that you have your desired location of the basket at its designated height. I am taking the same Allen wrench I used when putting them together in the first place. Making sure that they are very well secured so we have the top part done. Now I'm moving on to the bottom clamp. And there you have the basket well secured. Give it a nice shake. Make sure that you go through all four of the screws. Give them one extra turn just in case you missed any but they all are secure and this basket is ready to hold whatever it needs to. Now we will be attaching the handle. The handle comes with Phillip head screws, but it does not come with a Phillip head screwdriver. So you will need to have one of these on hand. So what we're going to do is we are going to unscrew the screws within the handle. Now that we've detached this part from the handlebar, we are going to take our screws and secure them with our fingers. I'm using my ring finger and my pointer finger. Now the handlebar can go at any height that you would like it to be. And I'm going to place it right a little bit above my hips. Now holding the handlebar in place and the screws in this section with my thumb, we are going to screw in our Phillip head screws. And there you go, you have a nice secured handlebar. See the handlebar is staying right where it's supposed to be. Nice and secured, easy access to move around. Now we will be moving on to the top of the structure. Here we will be taking the top of the pole and attaching it to the bottom. We will be using the 1024 by 0 0.375 inch socket head screws. You will see on the pole that there are three hole openings, you're going to take each screw, twist it into place with your fingers. You want to make sure that you are holding the pole so that they stay in place and that they are secure. Then you want to take the Allen wrench, then you want to secure all three screws. Now give it a nice good move, see if it turns or anything. There you have it, the Marlin Steel IV Stand. For routine maintenance in cleaning the rolling stand, you want to periodically inspect all fasteners associated with the mounting system. Tightening or adjusting is necessary for optimal operation and safety. For cleaning the stand, the mounting assembly may be cleaned with the most mild, non-abrasive solutions commonly used in hospital environments such as diluted bleach, ammonia, or alcohol solutions. Please refer to the manual for the rest of the cleaning of the roll stand.